There was once a man named Hilbert who owned a hotel with an infinite number of rooms. For a long time, there was always a room for any guest that showed up to the hotel, until Hilbert made the worst mistake of his life. Hilbert got the offer to let a circus with an infinite number of performers stay in his infinite number of rooms. His hotel had never become full, so he saw no problem with letting an infinite number of guests stay there. Hello? Mr. Hilbert, we have a problem. What is it? We've made a mistake. No matter how many rooms we go up, all the rooms are filled. The infinite circus filled us up completely. How? That's not, it's never happened in the history of the hotel. I now have to turn people away and they aren't happy about it. Do you know where the no vacancy sign is? I can't find it. I threw it away, but that's not the point. We gotta figure out how to fix this. Hilbert went through his records to find the number of a mathematician named Bargastein, who specialized in infinity. He thought that he could help him find vacancy in his hotel. Hello, Mr. Bargastein. I need you right away. It's a problem for you. Absolutely. I can help you. You're a lifesaver. When can you be here? I'll be there at 10 tomorrow. Alright, I'll see you then. Thank you. Thanks for coming at such short notice. Yeah, it's good to see you again. What's the problem? Well, I, I filled the infinite hotel. I'm not really sure how I did it, but the infinite circus came in and they filled up all the rooms. And so I have no new rooms to give to new guests, so now I'm kind of stuck. Well, what do you usually do when a new guest comes in? Usually I just plot them at the end. I just put them at the last room and then they just can check in since I can just produce a new room since it's infinite. So if you have an infinite number of rooms, that means that usually when you have a finite number of guests, that there'll never be a number of guests that are larger than the number of rooms you have. But now that you have an infinite number of guests, you'll never be able to find an empty room at the end of the chain of rooms. What if, instead of trying to find the room at the end, you use the room at the front? You can make this room empty by moving the person in room 1 to room 2 and the person in room 2 to room 3. You can represent this change through the equation n plus 1, where n is equal to the room number. I think that would work. Let's do it. Bargastein's method only worked for so long, as Hilbert's guests grew tired of moving up a room every time a new guest arrived. They needed to think of something different. This isn't working. I gotta think of something else. So Hilbert went off to make a long-term solution that would solve this infinite circus problem forever. I figured it out. The equation I thought of is 2n, where n is the room number. So, room 1 would move to room 2, 2 would move to 4, 4 would move to 8. And you do this for the odd numbers too. So room 3 would move to room 6, and 6 would go to 12. You're multiplying the room's number to open up all the odd rooms for the new guests. And this creates the infinite hotel.